Thank you for tuning in to Go On You Extreme. I'm Elizabeth Thomas, sitting here with senior Rachel Honest. Rachel, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, all four games you played against Providence College were very highly contested games. Can you talk a little bit about what you're going to do different in order to hope and ensure a win on Sunday? Um, playing against Providence is always a big thing. I think uh, both our teams are very similar, especially with uh, speed. They can keep up with us, and they have kind of the same game plan as we do. And um, what we need to do is stick to our own game plan and play at our speed and um, take them off their game plan. So to prepare for them, of course, we're, we're preparing for BU, but um, for Providence, we're just going to focus on our, our strengths in practice and hopefully just execute in the game. Right. Now, Providence is the team that eliminated you last year from the Hockey East playoffs. What are you going to try to think of do differently in order to not have that happen this year? Uh, that's a thing I've been thinking about since last season. It's, it's eating me up inside and it makes me look forward to these type of games. But um, it's just going to give us a little more drive, I know, because they outplayed us in the playoffs last year and we thought we had it made for us, especially with that bye week. But this week we're not going to take anything for granted and we're going to give them everything we've got. Is there anything offensively or defensively that you'd like to do that might ensure a win? Uh, we're working on defensive zone a lot, especially because our last couple of games we've struggled in defensive zone, especially in the third period. So we're going to make sure to help out Chloe and um, just play from the goal line out. And as you know, the Beanpot's a big deal. You being a senior, you've already won a couple so far here at your time at Northeastern. What would it mean, though, to be a senior and have this your last year being a student athlete to win again? It mean everything. Last year when we won it, it, it was just an unbelievable feeling and I'd love to have it and go out on a high note as a senior just to have that bean pot and raise it again. So you get to wear some pretty awesome pink jerseys on Sunday. Can you talk a little bit what the cause means to you for skating for strides? I actually did take a look at those jerseys too and they're really nice. I might get my parents to bid for it, <laughs> maybe uh, give some money to the skating strides, but I think it's a great cause and we've done it every year. Uh, just with the addition of the jerseys from last year, I think it's, it just adds more to the cause and that we can do something for breast cancer, it means even more. And obviously, being from California, I'm sure you'll have a lot of people and family tuning in to watch the game. Do you have anything you'd like to say to them or any of your fans? Um, I'd like to thank everyone who supported women's hockey, especially these past four years, and uh, keep supporting because it's only getting bigger. Thank you for tuning in to Go On You Extreme. I'm Elizabeth Thomas, and thank you, Rachel, Thanks and good me. luck. Thank you.